Okay, today I'm going to show you how to repair an iPhone 6 screen. If you would like a professional to undertake the job, or if you want to buy any parts or tools in the video, just go to the link in the description below. Okay, so firstly, two pencil edge screws in the bottom. Remove them both. And then you will need a suction cup to remove the screen. There are a couple of ways of doing it, but all parts in the video are sold. Flip on, hold the top sc screen first and flick away. Okay, so once we've got the screen off, we need to change to a star head screwdriver. And just wiggle the top out first. Like so. We've got five screen cover screws. All just remove, and it's best to keep all the screws and the bits you take off in the same place just so you don't lose any of them. The top right screw isn't magnetic and it's a little bit longer, so keep that one a bit separate. Once they're removed, you can just take off the ribbon cover and place it with the screws. We've then got these connectors here, and the easiest way to get them off is just flick them with a case opener tool from the kit, or you can do it with your finger now. Like so. Okay, so once you've got that off, don't need the chassis for the moment, so you can take that away. Okay, now it's best to start from top to bottom, so if you take the camera cover off, like so, and then just peel it away. Okay, once we've got that off, the camera itself can just be removed and peeled off. We've then got the speaker. You just want to get a fingernail under the corner and just be very careful because they are glued down. It's best if you turn the screen around like this and go in from the top with the case open tool. Okay, just to on clips and then you've got the last little bit with the gold connector on the pin just on the board. It's best to just take your time with them and pull them gently, like so. Okay, and then we can set that to the side for the minute. Okay, so once that's off, we can continue from top to bottom, just removing the back plate. Okay, so once you remove them, there's a further three screws just towards the base of the screen. Once they're off, use your fingernail and just peel it away, like so. Okay, for the home button, it's best if you just use your fingernail to push it from the bottom. Just being careful again, as we were with the camera, because the parts are glued to the screen.
unclip connector at the bottom before you peel it away and then just place it with the parts that are off. Okay, so once you've removed all the screws, using a nail, you can just lift the LCD back plate off the screen, being careful just to unpick the ribbon that connects the home button away from the bottom. Like so, and you can set that down as well. What's likely with the new screen that you will get is that the little camera liner isn't in place. So just pick that off, and with the new screen, it should already be glued back on, so we can set that to the side. And then, if all I want to do is just grab the new screen, like right so, and then it's simply all the steps in reverse. So we can begin by putting the back plate back on. Wouldn't worry about any of the adhesive on the bottom because the other clips hold it in place. So start from the left hand side first, slide it back down like so. Once you're happy it's in position, you can grab your home button and just place back on like so. Notice the little locator point at the bottom that's just got to be in first before you set the clip over. Align it first so that you don't bend any of the pins and just push down once it's in the right place. Like so. Okay, from there, home button cover. So, okay, so once we're at this stage, we can re-screw the LCD back plate back onto this new screen. Okay, now the easiest thing to do next is while we've got those screws in is align the camera again. So if you begin by sticking a little gold connector back on first to a little bit of adhesive just there, push down quite firmly and then into the camera hole and proximity sensor just make sure both parts are lined up first like so and once you're happy that they're in position just get just get the cover Making sure the camera doesn't jump up like it just has. Okay. So once you've got the gold bit of adhesive stuck down, you can get the ear speaker, making sure that the four gold pins line up with the pins on the ribbon. So like so, if you 
fold it over the cross and make sure the camera's aligned. Keeping some pressure on the ribbon, you can get your, your cover, place it down, making sure it's all in position, you can go ahead and screw it all in place. Like so. Okay, and now we've got the new screen all ready to go back on. Get the chassis back. Holding the top of the screen flat with the top of the chassis. You can start with the furthest one up to the top. Now be careful just to get them in position first before you push down. Like I say. Once you're happy that all four are set down, you can get your ribbon cover back over. Rest it on top. Just keep in a little bit of pressure down and then you can start with the middle screw. And provided that you put them all on the tray in the order you took them out, they'll all go back in okay. If you did want to buy any of the parts or tools in the video, they are mentioned in the description below. Okay, once they're all back in, start by sliding the top of the screen into the chassis. And then, nice and gently with your fingers, just smooth it down towards the bottom. Making sure it's all sealed all the way around. And to finish up, just change back to a pantalobe screwdriver. And insert the bottom two screws. If you didn't want to undertake the repair yourself, you can send it in and one of our professionals can do it for you. And there you have it, iPhone 6 full screen replacement.